Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld. We have our second psychic, psychic ship of the series, eight years in. Uh, looks like 93 Militors, and these guys have been compressed, so uh, they're, they're a little better, yeah. Uh, I have recalled everyone back to base, mechs, our colonists, all that fun stuff, and um, I designed our ship, so let's like take a look at those plans real quick. Uh, so we have like uh, our engines back here. This will be like the primary hull. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see with all that junk in the way. Uh, kind of modeling it after a side view that I was looking at of the Normandy, right? So like um, these engines kind of like jutting off the side. There's some kind of like um, structure that protrudes alongside the main structure as well. Um, so yeah, we are in the process of like walling this all off. Uh, we can get rid of all these like power lines and whatnot, and we're going to have to do some terraforming. So we're just like plopping down moisture pumps everywhere. Uh, numbers wise, let's take a look at our shooting skill. I think it's V and Kif. No, it's Mish and Kif now. Okay. So let's get Mish, Mish, Mish. And let's get Kif. We'll get them on the mortars. Um, oh, actually, we can probably we can probably do EMP shells as well. Who's after Mish? Connor. Surprising. He's like our doctor or one of our scientists. Uh, but he does have a double passion for shooting, so we will just go ahead and like hold fire for now. We'll come down here. We'll set the force target on this guy. And once they're all they're all in position, so we will release hold fire. EMG, EMP going off first. Let's see if we actually like get a good shot here. Yeah, like stunned half of them. Nice. Um, oh, it's grabbing all of them, not just the dead ones, but we are at 74 Militors. And we're getting some good shots off here, so. Um, we also did put a new batch of children in, so they will be ready in a day and a half. We started collecting ovums, um, and we've started collecting some embryos using our clone extractor. So, um, you know, we'll want to get this like all restocked before we launch that next mission. Uh, other than that, I think today we are going to go ahead and take out at least one more faction. Um, we have, I think, three to go. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four. No, this one's gone. So we have three left. Yep, perfect. Okay, we are just obliterating these Militors. There are just 60 of them left. And this is about 60% done. So big non-event. We'll take care of this, and then we'll come back when we're ready to start our assault on another hostile faction. Okay, we have about 40 Militors coming for us. We did get another um, Persona Core out of this, so that's nice. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention is we also got like our little shield room built up. One shield is actually enough to provide this much cover uh, coverage, and we aren't even maxed out on radius, so um, this should prevent any drop pod raids. This will prevent mortar shells. Um, in this area, and we're also giving some, like, coverage to part of our kill box. I think we have, like, a mech shield. There's a high shield. There's a high shield. So we have a couple high shields that are also providing a little coverage over here. We might move those around or deconstruct them. We don't really need them anymore. Um, so yeah, we didn't have to build the second one over here, and we also got our, like, magnetic shield to protect us from EMPs and all that other fun stuff. Um, Militor is just, like, slowly trickling in. Yeah, this this is a non-event. Oh, we're going to have to rebuild some of those. That sucks. But, yeah, we'll come back when we are assaulting an actual colony this time. Okay, we are going after the Impids. They've been starting to spread, so first thing up, we're taking out this outpost, and then we'll hit up these two bases. Um, we're just bringing ranged characters with us, so just our troopers and Maddie, our adept. Uh, we did equip her with an N7 battle rifle. Okay, this outpost is so tiny. It's just, it looks like it's just one building. Okay, and they are fleeing already. Let's go ahead and 
do this just to get like that fire away. Uh, and yeah, I think we're good. We don't really need to repair anything, so let's just hop on to the next one. Okay, and here we are, next location. One of two embed colonies remaining. They are all gathered out that way. Maybe we just like line up here and wait for them to come down this corridor. Where is our singularity? Let's put that there. And then the annihilation field. Ooh, these guys are going for our ship. They are fleeing. We are all set. And faction-wise, we're allied with everyone that we can be allied with. <laughs> okay, we're landing in a feralist jungle. Seems like an unusual spot for impids, but here we are. Okay, wait, imps are attacking your colonists. Okay, so wait, they're gonna come towards us? Tactical cloak renders the user invisible. Okay. Uh, I know the combat drone won't do too much. These guys are pretty flame resistant, but there is like some concussive damage that'll happen. Oh, it's because we're still on the map. Let's go ahead and get off the map, and then we'll take a look at factions again. We'll see who we are going to remove from this world next. Okay, I realized that the impids aren't grayed out because they actually have two more settlements. So uh, we took out a pirate camp. I think we'll take this one out next, and then we'll get rid of the impids. What the imps once and for all. Uh, I am bringing folks home, though. Just their moods are starting to get a little low. I don't want them going on mental breaks while we're out caravanning. So we'll let them get some recreation, eat some fine, some fine meals, and then we'll send them back out here in another day or two. Hey, we're back taking more imps out. Hell is so fast. Oh, she has two bionic legs. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think one of them got destroyed after we had already given her a bionic leg. Okay, let's pop in. Let's do a combat zone. Annihilate. Oh, annihilation field. up there on to the last imp colony actually we'll take out those pirates first okay this is the last base for these pirates so once these guys are gone their faction will be no more Try this hex shield again. Okay. Didn't see it before, so it puts down like just a little thing for cover, I guess. Okay, base destroyed. Awesome. And then on to the last impid base. Okay, here we are. And it looks like they are. Thinking about attacking us, but not. Let's 
get these guys home. Um, okay, so if we take a look at factions, this pirate faction shows us grayed out, the impid show us grayed out. We just have these Yit uh, are these Yitikin pirates? I think they're Yitikin pirates. Um, okay, you guys, she is just so fast. I might have to give everyone double bionic legs because that's just like insane. Okay, so let's take a look. We'll go home. And then if we look at the world, we have like four Yitikin pirate bases down here. I think they just started out with like one or two, but they did some spreading. Um, and then those outposts upgraded and they are in a biome that we haven't been in yet. So they're all, it looks like in the ocular forest. Um, so we will let our folks regroup, let them recover. Some of them got some burns. Um, I'm going to snag food from uh, the impid base. Um, but yeah, they'll be healed up and then we'll head out again. Uh, we have been doing a little bit of like paving around the base, just increasing movement speed, uh, making it look a little bit more developed. We got our greenhouse all built up. Uh, and so it's been exciting to see like a variety of food in here. We were like capped out on our food storage. Um, we have tons of corn. It's like whenever the corn comes in, like we fill this guy up. Uh, so we do occasional hunting and our next generation is uh, not quite a year old, but we shove them back in the, the growth bats so that they can grow a bit quicker. Hey, we've arrived in the ocular forest. Uh, getting ready to attack our first Yitikin base. Okay, first face down. Let you guys do whatever you're going to do probably eat and then we will move on to the next two or four combat drone there On to the next. Okay, we landed pretty close this time. Hey, that's uh, three of them down. One left to go. Okay, and here we go. Ooh, mortar shell. Okay, miss. Nice. Let's get in here. Let's do a marksman command. Let's get right there. Down. That is it. Does it show them great out? It does. Okay, cool. Well, let's get back home and we'll take a look at kind of like some of the updates that have been going on there. Uh, let's get you guys loaded up. Accept. And yeah, once they get back home, we'll come back. Okay, so they are flying back. We've gotten most of this mined out. We are getting our wall like all our terraforming done over here so we can finish our wall. Uh, then we'll start working on the ship. Uh, we are definitely needing to mine a lot more steel and plasteel and get a bunch of components and advanced components made so that we can build that ship. 
Um, we are having some power issues. Like uh, a couple episodes ago, I like built this out uh, and that was helping. Uh, we have built two of these fusion reactors from the Rim Effect core mod. Uh, so we're working on another little power room down here. And this is actually going to be an element zero reactor. Uh, so once that's complete, I'll let you guys know how much power it produces. You can also overcharge it, um, but I think it does cause radiation. So... Um, hopefully that will resolve our issues because like every night our batteries like our batteries aren't filling during the day and they're draining at night and so uh, that's not a good situation like an ideal situation is that our batteries are full all the time and then if there's an EMP this guy starts consuming a bunch of power and hopefully our batteries uh, can get us through that EMP or whatever um, other than that little our little like um nuggets that are growing in here are about two years old two years six days and uh food situation it's looking bad but like i said once we harvest corn like every time we harvest corn um this restocks back to full we're hardly touching any of our nutrient paste as well we have two fridges that are full down here with simple and vegetarian fine meals we also have some like overflow meals coming in here so uh, we're keeping up with demand pretty well uh, i did do since we are going to be grinding up a lot of blocks here um, i did take a caravan or a few caravans out just to like dump all our excess blocks um, so we're kind of like making space for for chopping blocks and for getting all of this out of where we're going to be building our ship but yeah we are I feel like well on our way we do need to collect like what is it we have 22 embryos we have seven ovums um that puts us at 29 so probably like 21 more um to fill up our ship our, our ship uh we'll basically just like move these shelves into it and we've accomplished kind of like ridding the world of hostile factions the only thing that's left is this guy and I think I'm going to be focusing on all the other stuff that I said I was focusing on, but really building a lot more N7 gear and N7 weapons because they seem pretty powerful, pretty awesome. We're going to see if any of these children that are coming up, if any of them are going to be biotically gifted like Maddie as well. We'll see if we can get a couple more adepts going. Um, and then we'll get a couple more ships going. Uh, and once we're kind of like in that good spot, we'll go ahead and take our attack to the Reapers. Um, hopefully wipe them out and then launch our yet to be built ship. So we are, we are getting there. Thanks for hanging out. You guys as always have a good one until next time. Bye.